these are the supplies we need for making the solar panel. Here we have the wall charger for the iPod. I have an iPod video, so it'll work with any iPod, but this is a video jack. Uh, these are the knives we're going to use to cut the wire. They're my magical color changing knives, but it just wouldn't be one of my videos without magic in there somewhere. So we're going to use those, but you can use anything to cut it. This is a wire stripper to strip the rubber casing off of the actual wiring. This is testers model glue. I think any glue would work, but this is the only glue I've ever used, so I can't be positive. You need lemon juice. This is 100% lemon, but if it's mixed with water, it won't work as better. It might still work, but just like with the glue, this is the only kind I've ever used. You need either vinegar or ketchup. I'm going to mix them together and use both, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just use one or the other because ketchup has vinegar in it. You can even use, over here I have red vinegar. I'm not going to use that at all though. You need tin foil. One sheet, one square foot would be fine. Just like this, just one square foot, it's fine. But if you want to make more panels or one bigger panel for more strength, you can. I'm just going to make one for the video. And you need a bucket. And I'm going to have black spray paint tomorrow when we're actually making the solar panel but I don't have it with me right now. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to prepare the aluminum foil. Let's get started. Alright, this is the preparation for actually making the solar panel. This is Wednesday night. We're actually going to build the panel tomorrow morning, Wednesday. But first thing to do is put your lemon juice in some form of a bucket. Anything would really work. You could use a pitcher or whatever. Alright, then you take, uh, I'm going to use one square foot of aluminum foil. Uh, I'm going to fold it up just so it'll get in there better. But you want to get it to soak in the lemon juice, and it'll soak in the acidity of the lemon juice. And we'll leave this overnight, and tomorrow we'll be ready to start. Uh, you might want to, if you have a problem like me, I don't have a whole lot of lemon juice in here, so it's not really going to cover it, so I'm going to have to flip this every once in a while. I don't go to bed too late anyway. But leave that in there overnight and we'll get to work tomorrow morning. Good morning, sports fans. It is a beautiful day out here, sun, and we are going to finish making our solar panel. We have the uh, tin foil soap in there. I've flipped it twice before I went to sleep and a couple times today. It's not exactly morning, so I shouldn't say good morning. But uh, now we are going to get to the actual construction of our solar panel. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this out of here, drip it off. Love that smell. We're going to unfold this. If I, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but unfolding this and keeping the camera on it. Okay, we got lemon juice all over it, which is a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. All right, and the first thing we are going to do is spread ketchup on it. That's why I have the extra knife over there. But spread some ketchup on here. Don't be shy with ketchup. Ugh. And we're just going to use this to even it out. And now. Let me spread this out on here. We're going to let this sit for about an hour. Uh, I don't have the black spray paint like I thought I would. Uh, my friend was supposed to let me borrow that, and I couldn't because I haven't talked to him, and I'm not waiting. I'm anxious. Uh, so the black spray paint just to attract the heat. Black attracts heat. That's obvious. But you can do it with this. We're just going to change the shape of it a little bit. But spread this on here pretty good and let it sit for about an hour. I'll see you in an hour. It's been an hour, and our tin foil has, or sorry, aluminum foil has been roasting out here in the sun with the ketchup. I meant to mention that you don't need to have the lemon juice out here in the sun. You can do that inside, but this over here, the ketchup needs to be outside. Now, what we're going to do now is, now what we're going to do now, listen to me. We're going to prepare our USB cable. Let me put this down here. Uh, I told you 
these are my magical knives and then I would show them to you. They're magical because they like to change colors and switch places. You have a black one over here and a white one over here. Wait, if you put them in your hand, put the white one over here, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you can find the black knife and I'll give you a hint. I don't have a black knife, I'm sorry. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut our USB cable as close as we can to this end, end that goes in the wall or the computer. Cut the wire. You should use a sharper knife than this or a wire cutter, but I want to use my magic knives. Come on. There we go, we cut it. Now we're going to take our wire stripper and strip the wire. I guess I have to do it at the end. Alright, hey, hey, I got it. Ah. Alright, now we're going to get to building our solar panel. Alright, uh, we spliced the wire and I wanted to show you that on the wire you want the green, the yellow, and the black wire going to one side and the red, white, and the silver wire going to this side. The yellow is more like a thread kind of thing but you want the yellow, green, and black going to that side, red, white, and silver going over here. You splice it and you have to take, there's this little kind of like, it's kind of like the aluminum foil, we use this little casing on there, you have to take that off too. But the stripper over here doesn't take that off by, the, by itself, you have to take it off extra. But you put those to two extra two separate sides like that after poking a hole in the center of the tinfoil like I did and now it's going underneath and now we are going to glue the wiring to the tinfoil this is a strong smell so as soon as this is done I'm getting on here I am getting out of here um, I just poured some vinegar on here. You don't really need the vinegar if you're going to use ketchup. You don't really need the ketchup if you're going to use vinegar. It's just your choice. I just use both. It doesn't matter. And we will let this sit out here for a while, let the glue dry, and then we will start to use the solar panel. Here it is, our completed solar panel. Uh, not very visually appealing, and I had to prop it up with the vinegar bottle because I couldn't get it to work because it wasn't facing the sun because the sun is kind of that way, not directly straight up. But uh, it's propped up, it's ready to go. Uh, all we gotta do now is plug in the iPod, which is over here. And I tried to shoot it like a million times where I was plugging it in while I was playing my favorite song, Eight Days a Week by the Beatles, but then I realized it'll be a lot easier to get the lightning bolt thing in the shot. I couldn't get it in the shot because it was too small. I'll set this down. Couldn't get it in the shot because it was all small up in the corner. Now if I do it while the iPod is off, see if I turn it off. It's off and now you can see that it is charging. I hope you can see that. If not, I'm going to have to shoot this once again, but hopefully there's an angle somewhere in here where you can see that it is charging. Again, not very attractive, but it works if you got ketchup, lemon juice, aluminum foil, and an iPod without a wall outlet thing. Works great. <laughs> Have fun with it.